Hi there, I'm Dr. Gary Simmons of Carilion Clinic Neurosurgery and I want to talk to you today about taking care of your spine. If you've been with us for other sessions, you've learned a little bit about how the spine is structured and how over time it starts to show wear and tear. And we'll, we'll find out later that sometimes those wear and tear changes can lead to some problems. So what are some ways that you can protect yourself from having bad problems from, from your spine? Well, to a certain extent, uh, the spine is the spine, and if you're alive for long enough, it will show wear and tear changes, and it probably will get creaky and, and groany at times, and there are certain things that you probably will need to moderate as the years go on. Uh, it is much harder to play full contact sports in your 60s than it is in your 20s, let's say. But most of it's common sense. Uh, and it won't stop wear and tear changes, but it can give you a much better control over them and lead to less problems. Some, uh, some of the uh, methodologies are very simple and very straightforward. And uh, one of the easiest ones to remember is try to keep the weight down. If you put a lot of weight on your belly, you're going to be putting through physics, what we might call a moment arm, a pull onto your spine all the time. So the heavier you are, just think about it. The more you're pulling your spine over, the more each step you take, you thump your spine, you wear down your discs. So keeping your weight under control is probably one of the single most important methodologies of protecting your spine. Beyond keeping your weight under control, there are other methods to help your back from getting into too much trouble. Some of it is try to keep yourself out of complete bulwark, if you will, and that is taking on jobs that are far too heavy, far too strenuous for one person at a time. And that is you need to get help when you're going to move the furnace or uh, dig up the entire three acre yard all by yourself. Uh, you do that enough and you will put a lot of wear and tear on your back. Beyond that, you all have heard about lifting with your legs. You don't want to be lifting heavy objects way out in front of you. You want to bring any sort of heavy lifting close into your body so that you put a lot of the strain and the stress on your legs and your legs will be able to take it. So when you're lifting a heavy object, get the object in close to your body and use your legs rather than bending over, lifting the heavy object far away from your body. Beyond that, it's important to keep yourself toned. The more toned your abdominal muscles are, your belly muscles are, and your chest muscles, uh, the less strain you're actually putting on your back when you go to do wear and tear type activities, when you go to do digging up the garden or moving furniture or that sort of thing. Uh, if you uh, sit around all the time and then go out and dig up the three acre garden, you're going to put far more stress on your back than if you keep your muscles toned. There are all sorts of back exercises that we can show you, all sorts of different um, methodologies to keep that tone good, but in the long run it's important to stay in shape. Uh, we'll talk more about back care in future episodes.